So let's have a look at uh, Tiger Woods and motion capture in. you agree that you're starting to see some emotionally believable realistic characters are coming out in gaming so key for us in gaming is to ensure that we can uh, gamers suspend their disbelief and they throw themselves into the game world and enjoy what's going on now we've got a game coming out called medal of honor anybody heard of it yeah. a little bit in the press about it at the moment so again this is a, a an 18 or a mature rated video so if you're of that disposition, please uh, leave the auditorium. Thank you, John. <laughs> Positions and driven them back. But they have endured. They have adapted. And they are not as weak as we once thought. War requires the sledgehammer, but will be decided with the scalpel. A different breed of warrior is required. We are experts in the application of violence. We possess the mindset and will to do what is necessary. We are Tier 1. towards the end of the presentation now. Are you enjoying it so far? Yes! That's good to hear. So, can I create games? That's a great thing about gaming now is that we're passing the tools over to everybody in this room and across the world to be able to create your own games and your own levels and some of the creativity we're seeing coming out is absolutely fantastic. So, user-generated content, that's what it's all about, puts you in that creative control. So there are different games out there. We've heard a Little Big Planet. We've got a game coming out called Create, which allows you to create your own levels and gameplay. And uh, there's other things as well that Microsoft, um, a lot of schools and universities in the UK and USA are able to use XNA technology to create their own games. And I think this is becoming widely available, hopefully in India as well. This allows you to create those games, to upload them to Xbox Live Arcade and then into community games so everybody can see your talents and companies like us can try and hire you or publish your games. So again, in different ways on Steam, mods, etc. You can show your creativity, the tools are out there. 
So apart from story, how else can you immerse yourself into a gaming world? Obviously there's different forms of controllers. So in rock band you can play on the drums, sing, play the guitar. Anybody played rock band here? Oh, okay, there's a, a few up there. Anybody played Wii Fit? I need to. <laughs> Although this uh, presentation walking around the room today helps. So again, there's controllers. Some of you may have heard of Kinect. Effectively, what this does is actually makes you the controller. It tracks, tracks your motion as you move around. We have a game called Harry Potter coming out. And you don't need the controller. You can actually just put your hand in the air and wave it and cast spells. And it's a great, great way of interacting and immersing people into the gaming world. Also, 3D gaming is coming. Games are being developed and looked at in 3D. So imagine sitting on your sofa at home or going to a cyber cafe, putting on the glasses and the images are jumping out to you while you're watching it on screen. That's all pretty exciting and a real challenge for those who get involved in the gaming career. So I spoke briefly, and I'm not going to go through this in too much detail because I started with talking about the uh, Indian game industry. There are so many things that you can see there which put you set up very well for growth. There is a great talent pool. Some of the animation I've been seeing, I had a tour of the, the Mac studio and the Mac offices uh, in Delhi, um, and you know, some of the work I'm seeing is just phenomenal. Very proud of what you guys are doing. So, you know, that shows us that there's going to be a great creative future here in India. Along with the technology, which is jumping along, the, obviously the 3G, the broadband, greater access to communications, more mobile phones, perfect for actually moving forward. So, we know that uh, I'm talking very enthusiastically about India. Do EA back up their words with action? Yes, we have a, a studio in Hyderabad. Um, you can see some of the guys there having fun. And uh, this is a, a little intro into EA in India, um, as I said, in Hyderabad. There are about 900 staff, so that shows again we're committed to driving this forward. Um, we've got EA mobile team there. And these guys are creating content and new games for mobile phones which are played across the world, over in America, over in Europe, and across Asia again. So they're great at doing the mobile game side. There's teams dedicated to our central development services, CDS, and they help EA with the big EA console and high MPC blockbuster games. Again, that's great stuff they're doing, and a global finance team. So EA is very much here in India and supportive. There's a guy there from our Hyderabad office jumping out of a plane, something I wouldn't do, although we would have got home quicker last night had we done that. So, uh, so what are the challenges facing India? And this is where I'm going to end. The key thing is that we have to, be it Mac, be it the games companies, convince people like you that there's great careers in gaming, in terms of salaries, remuneration, in terms of actually the way you can have a career progression, get promoted and develop your career in the industry. We need to encourage more people to study game design, to get that enthusiasm in there. Courses like we heard from Mac earlier are a brilliant way of actually starting that ball rolling and gaming acceleration across India. We also need to make sure that you have faith in yourself. We've seen what the film industry's done and how you've electrified the world with the films you've created. Now imagine you, you could do that and bring your unique cultural games across the world and their global blockbuster hits. Now that's something that's a challenge for people in this audience to do that. And all very well, we could have in here today the next person, the next Miyamoto, the next Will Wright, who's going to be a global gaming icon who's going to create those AAA games and be a multi-millionaire in the process. So I hope today it is a huge honour to come to India. Love coming to this country and it's great to see you all. I'm to take a, a couple of uh, audience Q&A questions. So I'll hand over to Charm to uh, manage this session. All right. Um, I'd like to ask a, a question about the video games you make, about uh, the uh, graphics cards and all the, the processes that are supported. Uh, do you work with the companies that make the processes and the graphic cards that the game support in advance or uh, uh, do you just uh, make the game uh, like this? So yeah, no, it's important that you know, EA as a company has to partner with firstly obviously all the main 
uh, hardware manufacturers, the likes of Microsoft, Nintendo and Sony. Uh, we work very closely with NVIDIA and obviously uh, I think, is there a prize from NVIDIA today? Yes, yes, we have a place for them. That's good. NVIDIA are brilliant like that. So there's a, a high-end graphics check today. So round of applause for NVIDIA, please. So yes, we work very closely with them. Obviously, you've seen with NVIDIA with uh, some of the new chips that they're developing and moving forward within 3D gaming. Again, our game studios are working very closely with them as well. The key thing for, uh, as probably people realise in this room, is that we want to continue bringing more and more people into gaming, but we don't want it to become more and more expensive, so you have to keep buying lots and lots of high-end processing PCs and that. So that's something we're very aware of as a company and as an industry, uh, and we've seen that a lot of people want to get into games from Facebook games, so how do we bring those into console and onto PC? So huge challenges, but yes, we work with everybody in that regard. Okay, thank Good you. Good question, thank you. Can you just pass the mic behind you, please? We have one question just behind you. And we're coming up to the most exciting bit with Charm's quiz. <laughs> Hello. You all get to it? Um, I'm looking for a career in a game software development, right? So I want to ask you, where should I start with? Like, should I learn or DirectX and OpenGL, or should I just go on to game engines? So, I mean, the key thing, it depends. What do you want to go into? Game programming, physics, graphics? Uh, programming or physics, no, not graphics. So, yeah, in terms of the programming side, it's obviously seen there if it's console and PC, we're looking for that strong knowledge of maths, C++ and C Sharp. If you're going into mobile gaming, obviously you want J2ME, you want uh, those different packages like that, Java, and we're looking to sort of see your skills. And the key thing is, is it is quite a, a complex technological thing, and we're going to try and obviously push you to bring the best out of it and make you sure that you have the tools that you can learn and develop and see how things are done in-house. So, again, if you can master the arts of uh, maths and C++, C Sharp, or the other way, then that's a good way to get in the industry. And uh, that's key. And if you want to be a game designer, which was a, another thing, courses like the Game Design, design course by Mac are a great thing as well to look and get into the industry. Thank you. Cool, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Can take one more question, I guess. Can we have one question from there? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can I ask a question? Mike is still not there. <laughs> Where is Mike? Is that a quiz question? Yeah. Warming up, you know. Hello. Yeah. So I would like to ask one question. Uh, I played a game FIFA 9 on PC, yep. and recently I got a chance to play the same game on PS3. I found that the game engine is quite different in uh, PS3. I mean, it's quite much. I mean, it's very exciting to play on PS3 rather than on PCs. Uh, so why is such discrimination for PC against PC? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I'll come and say hello first of all. 